course, this heat has Springfield Green County Health advising all of us to be safe outside of those temperatures if we have to be outside. Yeah, the triple digit heat related illnesses are at real risk now, becoming more of a concern for people and their health. Fox 49 Shania Tomlin is live from the health department uh, tonight. Shania, you got to speak uh, to those working out in the heat this week. What did they tell you? That's right, we got to speak with some local electricians today on how they're staying cool and safe while working out in the heat. A lot of people wouldn't think of hot weather as being a public health issue, uh, but during the summer months, we do see an increase in illness, heat related illness, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, dehydration. The summer heat is rolling in as the heat index in Springfield is already reaching triple digits. Many people, especially those who work out in the elements, are struggling to keep cool. It's, it's super hot. Uh, a lot of air conditioners broke down right now, so we're working long hours. We've got these uh, cooling towels and um, uh, electrolyte tablets and we bring the guys Gatorade and water and um, all that kind of stuff to try to keep them hydrated in this heat. Springfield Green County Health is warning that heat related illnesses can be severe and even fatal. These are illnesses that do have um, consequences that can lead to hospitalization and, and can even lead to death. And reminding it's crucial that everyone take necessary precautions like staying hydrated. We're not trying to discourage people from enjoying uh, summer activities, you know, going out. We just want people to be aware of the circumstances that um, can lead to and the warning signs of heat related illnesses. And letting people know the resource that is available around the city to keep cool. We've updated our uh, list of cooling shelters um, so that way people in the community um, can get out of the heat. One of those cooling stations is Jordan Valley Ice Park, where the lobby is open daily. And we also have a full list of all of the cooling stations around the city on our website, OzarksFirst.com. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Shadiah Tomlin, Ozarks First.